Alrighty, so quick warning, quick heads up. Uh, the characters will be flashing a bright white and blue. I have the simple frame data turned on, um, so if that bothers you to some degree for any reason, um, do what you need to do to deal with that. But with that, let's get into the video. So, okay, you've watched your combo videos, you've watched your favorite streamer play Lee, um, hint, hint, wink, wink, and you've realized, man, doing back two forward combos or doing back one, uh, one forward is difficult and challenging and all these other things, and so you're struggling to find a place to... Uh, help guide you through this well this is the video for you then um i'm going to give my take on this and kind of show examples of how exactly this move functions in a combo and how exactly to go about doing it consistently i will say once you get the timing down it's pretty easy but i will give you a few tips in here just to kind of help you along the way tip number one uh very direct with this one Practice just makes consistency. Um, doing it over and over and over, reset over and over and over until eventually it just becomes second nature um, is going to be pretty much the key to success here. With that being said, do not dis get discouraged. Um, there is some of the best players around the world, such as Fighting GM, uh, I Am Your Father, Murakumo. These are excellent top-notch lead players and i've seen them drop this so don't get discouraged just keep trying 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 and eventually it'll just become second nature tip number two would be to think of the misstep as its own move so when inputting the misstep you press forward forward neutral that's it the game does the rest to input the sway which is what you will need to get the while standing moves you press back so in in essence back to Forward gives you misstep. Pressing back after that will give you a sway. There is a small moment in there where you will input your 2-3 or your 2-4 or your 1-2 or your next back 2 in which the game will go, okay, this is a while standing move or this is X. So learning the timing on this can make it astronomically easier. For my third and final tip, I will say, do not mash this out. Um, that's not going to get you anywhere. The game expects you as the player to be pressing the buttons that you need to press at a precise time. There is a frame window. I can't remember off the top of my head, but I want to say it's roughly maybe five frames, somewhere around there, where you can get your while standing moves. It could be a little bit less, could be a little bit smaller. Don't quote me. I'm not looking at the data myself, but based off of feel that's about where it feels so when you go into these moves you want to think of it as a rhythm listen to your character one two three back two um and with that i'm just going to play some footage i'll have some things on screen and i'll slow down the footage a little bit with the frame data on so that way you can see kind of these moments where the pauses are happening and you can input your next action hopefully this breakdown helps you guys if you have any questions please leave them in the comments section i will get to every single one that i can um and with that like and subscribe maybe i'll catch you in the next one see ya Editor's side note about all this stuff, I went back and looked at the footage that I have that's in this video and it turns out there is a 12 frame window in which you have to input the while standing two threes or any of those notations that you can do. Five frames. Um, I will be showing that off at the tail end of the video and so if you want, stick around for that and you can see really in depth how this move actually functions.